everybody this is B Sevil Lakshmi myself and Ganapati Appan this is Sundar we are here to elucidate about the apple foremost my sincere gratitude to the corporate gentleman Dr Yen Sundarapani for this opportunity let's get into the topic Apple has officially become the first 1 trillion company in history Apple Company Incorporation formerly known as Apple Computer Incorporation was founded in 1976 by college dropout Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak the rise of steve in 1976 two young friends steve jobs and steve wozniak started a computer company in a garage in california usa they called the company apple and they dreamed for computers to be the part of everyone's life 40 years later the dream has come true apple employs 60000 people and has 357 shops around the world customers spend more than 100 billion US dollars a year on their computers, mobile phones and music players. In August 2011, it became the world's largest company. Together with Apple, Steve Jobs brought huge changes to many industries including computers, music, mobile phones and books. Hundreds of million people around the world used the technology that they helped to create technology which changed the face of modern world. the brand imprint value apple's brand has been some tremendous change throughout the last decade but in 2022 it stood at an impressive 947 us million dollars the birth of apple steve jobs steve wozniak and ronald started apple to sell wozniak's hand built personal computer named apple 1 They wanted to make computers small enough so that people can have them in their homes and offices. Ronald decided to leave the company only 12 days after it was founded by accepting a check of rupees 800 US dollars. Ronald made the hand sketch of the first Apple logo which was later replaced by the Peter Apple logo by Rob Janoff in 1977. It was incorporated as Apple Computer Incorporation in January 1977 and sales of its computers including the Apple II and it grew up quickly. Comeback of Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs overthrew Amelo and took Apple's control once more in 1997 and at that time hardware had caught up to his vision for all things digital. The company was in tough shape. It had been an array of product, so clear strategy, and was losing tens of 10 million of US dollars every quarter. He cancelled 70 percentage of Apple's products and laid off more than 3,000 people, turning a 1 billion losses in 1997 into a 300 billion profit in 1998. Then he started work building products that became Silicon Valley legends. First man. iMac was released in 1998 which was one of the most affordable computers Apple had ever made. iPod music player was released in 2001. By the end of the decade, Apple had sold more than 200 million iPods. Steve Jobs released the iPhone in 2007 and changed the name to Apple Incorporation because it shifted from computers to customer electronics. Sorry so big In 2009, Jobs announced that he would be taking six months medical leave of absence from Apple and would spend some time focusing on his health. Apple enjoyed success with his iPhone, iPods, iPads, and other products, which introduced innovations in the mobile phone portable, music player, and personal computers, respectively. In 2011, Apple released iCloud online storage and syncing services for music, photos, files, and software. It replaced MobileMe. which was the last launch by Mr. Jobs before his death. After his death, Tim Cook took the leadership of the Apple milestones. Here are some Apple milestones. In 1976, high school buddy Steven Wozniak and Steve Jobs started Apple Computer. The first product Apple I built in circuit board form debuts the Homebrew Computer Club in Palo Alto, California to title Falcon. In 1977, Apple II is unveiled the first personal computer in a plastic case with color graphics in 1993 apple started selling the lisa a desktop computer 
In 1984, Apple debuts the Macintosh personal computer. In 1991, Apple introduces the PowerBook 100, its first hit portable computer. In 1993, Newton MessagePad debuts Apple's first handheld device in it flops. September 1997, Jobs is named Apple's interim CEO after the company records loses the more than 1.8 million dollars. November 1997, Jobs introduces a new line of personal computers called the Z3 and a website that lets people order directly from Apple. In 1998, Apple unveils the iMac desktop computer. 2001, Apple introduces the iPod, a palm-sized hard drive based digital music player. 2003, the iTunes Store. October 2005, Tim Cook is named Apple's chief operating officer after serving as an executive vice president of Worldwide Sales and Operations since 2002. January 2007, Apple announces the iPod. September 2007, Apple unveils the iPod Touch, essentially an iPhone without the phone, which has wireless capabilities that performs the much like a portable computer. 2009, Apple releases the iPhone G 3 GS. 2010, Apple awards the Cook and bonus value at $22 billion for leading the company during the Jobs six-month lead, during which its shares soared about 70%. April 2010, Apple begins the selling an iPad at 10-inch touchscreen tab- tablet. February 2015, 2011, Apple launches a long-awaited subscription service for magazine, newspapers, videos, and music. A move that could hurt streaming services Netflix and Hulu. March 2, 2011, Apple launches the iPad 2, a sleeker, lighter version of its tablet. 2012 when apple spills kisser introduced ibook a textbook for ios and ibook author for mac os x in new york city 2014 during a press event in september 9 2014 apple introduced a smartwatch the apple watch 2017 in june 2017 apple announced the home part its smart speaker aimed at computer against sonos google home and amazon echo The value was estimated at $1 trillion on August 2018, with the revenue surpassing that $150 billion per annum. 2019, Xerox granted Apple engineers three days of access to Park C facilities in return for the option to buy 1 lakh shares, that is estimated to $5.6 million, with adjusted shares as of March, to, as of March 30, 2019. of apple at the pre ipo price of 10 million dollars per share 2020 during its annual wwdc keynote speech on june 22 2020 apple announced it would move away from the intel processor and mac would transition the processor development house achievement in 2022 apple won for best places to work in the bay area 2022 in 2021 apple won for the best ceo 2021 best company perks and benefits Best CEOs for Women 2021, Best Products and Design Team 2021, Best Engineering Team 2021, Best Places to Work in the Bay Area 2021, Best Global Culture 2021, and Best Company Outlook 2021. SWOT Analysis. As per the SWOT analysis of Apple, it is evident that the strengths and opportunities provide Apple with strategic advantages over its threats and weaknesses, which is mostly because of the company's reputation. loyalty among the consumers although although it would be beneficial for the organization to address the weakness that are described above the establishment effective management strategies and by eliminating the potential threats which it may face in future reviews customer apple has a consumer rating of 3.44 stars from 1865 reviews indicating that the most customers are generally satisfied with their purchases Consumers satisfied with the Apple most frequently mention great products, best phones, and Steve Jobs. Apple ranks 14th among the electronic sites. Employees review: We see the whole you at people. We approach everything we do with a deeper level of care, respect for your personal experience. You can sense it in care in our products, our stores, and also the ways they invest in our employees. Attract customer. Apple holds an annual four-day shopping event running from Black Friday to Cyber Monday, now for 25 to 28 this year. However, you don't expect to get any actual discount. Apple offers students various discounts. The discount is available with the free UniDays account. It is quick and easy to sign up with. 
sign up if you haven't already. You have only just confirmed your place at university. You can still get the discount and Apple specialist will verify your acceptance offer. Strategy Apple has a strategic position it is using to rack up numbers which is the product differentiation strategy. Apple competition positioning Apple maintains a strong competitive position in the industry and its expansion into new markets here since 2016. It has planned and executed its move into emerging markets after making significant $44 million investment in research and development in Indonesia. Over a period of three years to get the iPhones cleared for a sale in the country by its government. They have also been able to incorporate new technology like the heart monitor into its smartwatches which gives to show that they are staying through their mission statement of putting the customer first. Mission Apple's mission statement is to bring the best user experience to its customer through its innovative hardware, software and services. Tim Cook, Apple current CEO stated this as the company's mission statement and included the 2018 annual report. Through their mission statement, Apple highlights that it exists to offer its clients the best service that it can. The statement also describes how a company intends to achieve this. Mission The company highlights that they are always determined to deliver quality products for its clients. The statement also points out that they intend to do so for a quite some time. It gives a detailed account of how a company approaches its operation to position itself as the integration of partners and excellence. Core values Apple core values include inclusion and diversity education, accessibility, environment supplier, responsibility and privacy. Value reveals the aspect that Apple considers integral to its overall success as the technological and innovation leader. Apple is a critical about the principle that have seen its model itself as a quality-oriented company in over two decades. To stay true to these standards, the company ensures that all its operations are in line with each of these values or as highlighted in its statement of core values. Conclusion Apple company has achieved a rare in its technology arena. It has been flexible in its management procedure to a level of allowing creativity and innovation. The main conclusion that can be drawn this we found to be most interesting about Apple is how they are very innovative and early adapter. Apple is usually the first company to come out with a new product line before anything else in the corporate world. Thank you.